Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at how to create somewhat of a workflow with Google Forms, how we can have more than one user using the same form without losing the data that the previous person entered in the form. So I have created a form with five different sections. Section one, you have to identify who you are. We have four different teachers here. So when we take a look at the first section of the form, it's simply a drop down of who are you. And then when they select who they are and press next, it's going to take them to that section of the form. So first section of the form is who are you? And we changed the settings for this. Go to section based on answers. So if they choose teacher A for the first one, it's going to go to section two, which down here we've labeled teacher A. So we kept using this button here to create more sections and then we titled each section Teacher A, Teacher B, and so on. And then delete that section. So then we have two questions for each of sections two through five. This is Teacher A section, and we have rate the behavior for the student on a scale, and then comments. And it's important to put Teacher A before rate behavior, and it's important to enter Teacher A before comments. We repeated that. We don't want it just to say rate behavior We'll take a look at why when we get into the spreadsheet view later. So we've repeated that four times. The goal is when, let's say, teacher A fills this form out, teacher A is going to say that Johnny's behavior was very good and that Johnny had a great day today. So the goal is that when teacher A submits the form, that we're going to record the web address so that teacher B can pick up where teacher A left off and when all four teachers complete this form we're going to have the form you will add on send an email to all four teachers at the end of the day showing what everybody had put not just themselves so let's take a look at how we're going to do that you have to submit the form once so we just did that as teacher A and also after the end of section two, we change that so it submits to form. We don't want it going to the next section because otherwise it's going to go right to teacher B. So we want this to be submit form after each section. So next we're going to take a look at the responses and we're going to go to the spreadsheet view. We can see we have some responses here. You'll notice there is a form edit URL. Let me show you how I, I got that. So. We're going to go to add-ons, and if you haven't downloaded Form your Form Mule yet, you'll need to do that. We're going to open up Form Mule, and when you first start Form Mule, you're going to have to complete the form first. So you have to give a like a fake response first. We've turned the form trigger on, so I'm going to turn this on. And there's a checkbox down here, right down here. Log the edit URL for each submission. This is the important part. So. I want to record that edit URL for each submission. This is a specific web address that goes to that form that the user has already started to complete. So next what we're going to do is we're going to set up, I might just set up one template. I want the same email to go to all four teachers. So I'm just going to have one template. And this one's going to all teachers. And I'm going to have this email sent when teacher D I don't want the email sent out as soon as teacher A fills it out. What if that's first hour? I don't want it being sent at 10 o'clock a.m. I want this email to go out only after teacher B rates the behavior. So well let's change it to teacher B those comments. We'll put that as not null. So that when teacher B D, teacher D finishes leaving comments. That's when we can send this email out. Okay. And then you would go ahead and use Form Mule and you would complete your Form Mule template. And you put in the information in the um, description or the body area here. You might just hard code this in if it's going to the same teachers every time. So I'm just going to send this to myself. And if I was to more than one teacher, I'd do a comment here. We don't have to get fancy here. 
I'm going to put a subject here. This is a behavior form for Johnny. Let's call this a daily update. So we're going to use these tags over here. And this is why we added in the form itself teacher A behavior, teacher A comments, teacher B behavior, teacher B comments, because when we get here, if we just had rate behavior, we would have rate behavior four times, and we wouldn't know which behavior goes with each teacher. So I might say teacher A comments, or teacher A behavior, teacher A comments, like that. So we have teacher A comments going there. I'm going to enter teacher A behavior here. I'm going to space down teacher B. Teacher B, Teacher C, Teacher C, and Teacher D, Teacher D. All right, so it's going to go to myself. It's going to go when Teacher D fills out the comments. It's going to have this information there. So I am done. I, that's been saved. If you look back in the form now, you'll notice we have this address. Okay? So this form edit URL, when we click on it, it should take us... To the form that teacher A filled out with their information still in it, where teacher B or teacher C could pick up. Let's let's take a look and see if it works. So that's going to open up the form, and we get this on the top. We are editing a previous response, so that's good. So this address would be sent. We're going to set it up to send this to teacher B, teacher C, and teacher D. So when they choose theirs, it should be blank for them. However, when we go back to teacher A, it should still save teacher A's readings. Very well. Good. So then teacher B would come here, and teacher B would complete their part, and then it would fill that in for a teacher B part on the spreadsheet and leave teacher A. So the question is, how do we get this web address to those other teachers? So one teacher starts this form, and then we shoot out this web address to the other the other three teachers, or the other six teachers, depending on how many you have. We're going to have to go back and form Mule and set up another email template. Okay, let's go back to form Mule, and we're going to set up a second email template. And the reason we're setting this up is we want an email to automatically be shot out as soon as the first teacher teacher A fills out this form, we want them to shoot this link out to all the other teachers. So instead of just one template, we're going to add two. We're going to call this one end of day. This is the email that gets shot out at the end of the day. This email has the link they need. So this one has the link. We're going to send this out as soon as there is the who are you? So as soon as the first teacher answers that, we are going to have this send it out to all the teachers that link. So we're going to work on the second email that's going to go out. Actually, this is probably the first one. The end of the day is going to be the last email. Here's how we're going to do it. And this works if you have the same teachers that are going to get this for for this student Johnny for the whole time. So we're going to switch to our link template and we're going to put this, let's say this is going to go to myself, I'm teacher A, and I'm going to put in teacher B. Okay, and you could put in your other teachers as well. The subject is link to Johnny behavior form. Okay, so here we're going to say click the link below to fill out the form for Johnny. Okay, and now down here you'll notice that one of those merge tags was the form edit URL. And that is this address. So we're going to grab that. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. So we're going to make sure that that gets sent. Looks like it got rid of our end of the day template, but that is where 
we are going to add our teacher A, teacher A comments, teacher B rating, teacher B comments, teacher C rating, teacher C comments, teacher D rating, teacher D comments. We'll make sure that that's saved. Let's go back. The link looks good. Okay, so let's test this out. We're going to have, go back to this form one more time. I'm going to be teacher A. So I'm going to be teacher A. I'm going to press next. Let's say Johnny had another great day. Second great day in a row. I'm going to press submit. Now, if we look at our spreadsheet, it should be sending an it should be sending an email with this link to those teachers. So let's take a look and, and see a logging on as the other teacher if we got a message. So here's the second teacher, teacher B. Teacher B got this message. Click the link below to fill out the form for Johnny. You are editing a previous response. If they press next, this is teacher A, so they need to make sure that they're going to go to teacher B. It would obviously have their teacher's name there. And teacher B is going to say, oh no, boy, second hour, Johnny did not do well. Johnny did not have a good day. I would give some more details, but I'm going to press submit. And if we look back on our spreadsheet, now we'll see that teacher B, their information is on there as well. Now teacher C is going to get the same email that teacher B got and teacher D is going to get the same email too so they can fill this out as well. And then when the third and fourth teachers fill this out, our spreadsheet is going to have everything completed and that's when that last email is going to come out. So let's, um, that's when that last email is going to shoot out to all the teachers using Form Mule. So I hope that helps. Give it a try.